And joining me now is Harmeet Dillon, civil rights attorney and RNC committee woman for California. Harmeet, um, Newsom obviously looks pretty strong. Is a huge amount of money behind him. We don't know the final vote count. Uh, but if he does prevail, what does it mean for California? What does it say about the future of the California GOP? Well, I'm not sure it says anything about the future of the California GOP, Laura, because over a third of the people who signed this recall petition were not Republicans. They were Democrats and independents. And so I think what you're going to find is that while Gavin Newsom won with a 24 uh, percent advantage in three years ago when he became the governor, if he wins tonight, it's going to be by a much narrower margin. So his support is shrinking. And I think that should send a very strong signal to Democrats and to, you know, anybody who's representing voters in California. Look, Laura, in all the lawsuits I've filed, you've had me come on talk about regarding the COVID restrictions. A lot of those had plaintiffs who were Gavin Newsom voters and Democrats. So people are fed up about the schools, about the businesses being shut down, about our liberty being taken away, churches being closed, the fires, the crime, the lack of water, the illegal immigration issues, you name it. And so I think that this recall itself and, and all of the millions of people voting to replace Gavin Newsom should be a wake up call for Democrats throughout now, the we heard country. Some, we heard some concern about voter issues or people being told that when they got to the polls, they had been told they were already had already voted when they had not voted and so forth, particularly um, Republicans showing up to polling places. Um, watch this perspective. I didn't believe it at first. Um, I said, no, check again. And they checked and rechecked. They're like, no, it shows that you've already voted. And, um, and we were just both in shock. We we're like, well, it wasn't us. And so they handed us the provisional ballots. And it's like, you can fill this out and, and uh, we will cast it that way. And I'm like, well, what's your process? And they said, well, well, we'll compare your signatures. And uh, depending on the signature, they will select whichever vote that seems right. Harmeet, is this anecdotal, pervasive? What do we know? Well, this happened. Uh, it is not pervasive. It happened in two polling places in Los Angeles County. And I will tell you that there's likely to be litigation in Los Angeles County over multiple incidents of what I can only call incompetence at best. Um, there are many issues that I don't have time to detail here. But it was it was uh, rectified. And it wasn't the case that people were voting for these particular voters, but rather that the incompetent L.A. registrar had had uh, old poll books from a prior election loaded on so that when they came to vote electronically uh, uh, in person, it was shown that they had already voted in the last election. So this is, you know, dumb and it really undermines confidence of voters and the story spread like wildfire. But in fact, we only got those reports that day on Saturday from a few voters. Um, any voters being misled and told their vote isn't mm -hmm. going to count is too many, but that is incompetence as opposed to something else. Yeah. But there are other issues that we could talk about. But, you know, ultimately, yeah. I think there will need to be some legal effort to clean up. Yeah, well, I, I just want to yeah. say this, Harmeet, for every for for everybody, you know, uh, say, oh, well, if he doesn't win, it just shows it's over. California is important. we got to pay attention to it. Republican Party cannot let it go down a rat hole. Got to keep fighting. Uh, Harmeet, thank you. Polls close.